All right, bro. So in the video, it looks like, see what I'm saying? He walking past, right? He stops. He looks in there, see who it is, and then he waves him off. He waves him off. As soon as he waves him off, you see some come. The nigga had on slides. Yeah. What's going on, squad? So I did the video on um on K Flock. Both ways. This is actually jacking that. So I feel as though I'm gonna do a little bit more. You feel me? But really, seeing um that they have a new camera angle on the shooting that actually happened. And the previous video, I was like, yo, you know, it don't look like he was the aggressor. It looked like. Homie came out the barbershop and really came at him. My original reason for doing the first video was to say that New York gun laws are trash. And even though that situation may be self-defense, he's still going to do time. All right, bro. So in the video, it looks like, see what I'm saying? He walking past, right? He stops. He looks in there, see who it is, and then he waves him off. He waves him off. As soon as he waves him off, you see some come. The nigga had on slides. He had on slides. Let's keep it a hundred, right? Imagine you walking down the block, minding your business, and they ran down on you with some flip flops. Hey, yo, let me talk to you, son. Yo, where you going? Now nah, you pussy. Motherfucker. Flip flops be beating the back, the bottom of his feet. I feel some type of way too, son. But honestly, if a nigga run down on you with some flip flops, he ain't trying to fight. He ain't trying to fight. He got other intentions. I mean, that's the way I would have looked at it. You know what I'm saying? You you run down on me with some flip flops. Nah, you trying to get me up out of here? You got that thing hidden somewhere. Anyway, feeling his swag too much. He walked out there in the slides. You feel me? He had the diddy bop like it was popping. You feel me? That that's what's popping. Yo, where you going? I could only imagine the type of words coming out of his mouth right now, boy. Yo, come here, son. Let me talk to you. Let me holler at you, bro. You feel me? Okay, Flock was probably like, yo, nah, chill, bro. I got bitches with me right now. And then on top of that, it's two young shorties with him. So you know that son hopped out the barbershop extra ammunition. Because you know niggas got to look good in front of these females, huh? They look type young anyway. I'm, I'm an old head, so you know what I'm saying? They look... Another fuck came out. This is like a grown ass man. Is that Team Jordans? Does he have on Team Jordans? Am I tripping? It's besides the point. I'm tired ass sweats. You need to pull your damn pants up. Okay. All right. So, boom. All right. So, obviously, we can't hear. There's no sound. But the first shot might have went off, right? And Sun stepped back. Let's go back and let's go back again. I'm out here. I'm on here analyzing the video like twelve. I'm analyzing the video like twelve. So like first of all, let me pause this again. Do you imagine the audacity to try to like run down on somebody in some slides? Like if if me and you was beefing and you run down on me with some slides, bro. I, I had to do that to you, bro. I'm, and I ain't even talking about, like, shooting. I ain't finna shoot you, but I'm, I'm gonna beat your ass. All right, so he go over there. You can't see him no more. And all you see is the reaction of this man with them bum-ass sweatpants on. Then he, like, fake run over there. Then he ran over there. Then, oh, okay, yeah. So, boom. Then you see the other two people come out the, the, the shop. You feel me? So they probably heard the shots fired. I know for sure boy right here with the uh with the Eddie Murphy sweatpants with the yellow stripes, he probably called twelve. Oh they had a white dude in there too. He about to call twelve right now. He finna call nine one one. Oh look at the hot. Look at the skip. He calling nine one one right now. I knew he was gonna call nine one one. He looked like an old calling nine one one ass motherfucker. <laughs> but yo, let me tell y'all something, man. Like I said in my previous video, man, if you have anything good going for yourself and you live in the tri-state area, you feel me? You live in any of the boroughs, man. Leave. Leave. 
Well, let me get some of this apple apple juice. Leave. Let me tell you. When I go to when I go back to visit, I never want to be in New York, bro. I'm telling y'all, it's something about that 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 air when that breeze hits you. When you get off the plane and that breeze hits you, you just feel like yo, the devil lives here. You feel what I'm saying that air so goddamn stink. The air stink. I don't care. Y'all know the air stink, nigga. You feel me? And I don't know if that's what's getting inside of the people. Because I know niggas ain't drinking the water. Niggas ain't drinking the tap water out there. It's it's something in 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 the air in New York that have people acting like this, bro. You feel me? Like, it's added animosity. This this is my best way to, to like, really talk, to sum up, to sum up New York. I'm from Brooklyn. I don't, I don't know where this happened at. I don't know if this happened in Harlem or the Bronx. I don't know where this happened at. But I, I group them all the same. You feel me? Only Queens. Queens niggas, they, they move a little different. Queens move a little different. But, um... It is not, it's not unfamiliar territory to be minding your business and somebody run down on you for no reason. You feel what I'm saying? If you having any type of success, it's going to run down on you, bro. Like, they can see you doing good some type of way, they're going to run down on you. This is like an everyday story in, in New York, bro. When I, when I came out here for college and shit and I came back to visit, I go to play basketball for five minutes. Somebody came in, somebody broke into my, my apartment. They stole everything. Niggas, niggas stole my laptop that I had all, like, my college work on. They stole my Xbox 360. They stole everything, son, my clothes. Niggas even went in the dirty clothes and took my clothes. They even went in the dirty clothes and took, at the time, True Religions was popping. They went in my in my dirty clothes and took all my True Religions. You know how envious you have to be to dig in somebody's dirty clothes? You feel me? Like, you, on the on the plane ride back to Atlanta, you know what I was thinking? I'm like, yo, I wonder if niggas, like, wash them jeans before they put them on, son. Like, did they even, did they even need to put them on? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, did they really just, they, they, nah, they wore them. It was, them, them shits was real. Them, those was real true religions. They wore those. They definitely wore those. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm telling y'all, son, it's nothing but hate in NYC. I'm pretty sure, like, it's like that. Some pe Somebody could say it's like that in Chicago. Anybody could say it's like that wherever they stay at. But I'm telling y'all from my experience in New York, like, we mad aggressive. We we hold respect very high. You feel me? It's easy to feel disrespected in New York because we hold our standards for respect very high. But at the same time, we are very disrespectful people. This is a fact. If you If you get anything from this video, you feel me? Like, it is very easy for something to happen because somebody feel as though you disrespected them and they will get triggered just like that. But at the same time, niggas have no respect. It's, it's, it is crazy. It is crazy. I feel, I feel bad for this. I feel bad. It's like, I feel bad for, for him, right? But at the same time, I'm going to be realistic because some of the videos I've seen, like, you know what I'm saying? He a knucklehead. To keep it to keep it 100%, some of the videos I've seen floating around here of him, he's he's a knucklehead, son. It's just that in this particular situation, he was minding his business. But I'm going to have to dive in some more, but I'm pretty sure he attracted that energy to himself. I'm pretty sure he attracted that energy to himself, man. For y'all young boys out here, man, if you a fan of this young man, don't let nobody trick you out your success.